So, um, so we have this uh, kind of free hour or now 40, I'm sorry, 53 minutes left. And I thought the good thing to cover would be um, kind of a problem solving tool. And this is a tool in a literal sense. It's not like a conceptual framework or anything like that. It's a literal software tool that um, that's uh, useful, maybe not so much in the classroom setting, although it can be useful for homework problems that you do in this class. Um, but what it would be really, well, maybe not this. Um, <laughs> what it would be really useful for is more practical work. Like um, if you're doing any kind of real circuit analysis work, the thing about the real world systems is that they, typically are more complicated and um, doing a lot of those calculations by hand is <laughs> quickly gets impractical uh, for anything but the simplest, what we call back of the envelope calculation. So, so, um, so I wanted to introduce you to computer algebra system, uh, which, uh, so by the way, none of which, who, whose use is not required for this class. Uh, that's what I mean. It's not something that you do necessarily need for this class because whatever questions I give to you, it should be solvable without using a computer algebra system. You should be able to do it by hand. But you know, if you have uh, access to computer algebra system and you know how to use it, then it becomes a good way to check your own work, for example. And um, you can kind of see the need for this uh, starting to arise this week when you watch the lectures, like when you look at the lectures. Um, so uh, it's kind of build up here, right? I introduce Kirchhoff's rules and I apply to some simple situations. And this is the only kind of general situation where I'm applying Kirchhoff's rules. And when you watch through this video, I hope you will see just uh, um, um, how long it is. Well, the video itself is long. And uh, this is uh, one of those where the long part is the math because you know I'm going through the video here, 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 you know, the analysis of these, um, you know, drawing the loops and whatnot that you'll all read, uh, watch and read about. And I'm using the Kirchhoff's rules to write down the, the equations. And when I'm done, okay, I think I'm done writing here. Yeah. So I come up with the three equations, which can be used to solve the circuit, as in solve these unknown values of current, uh, I1, I2, I3. And so this is the moment in the video when I have written down all the equations we need to solve it. And I'm going to spend another 10 minutes in this video to actually solve it. And um, most of it is not me waiting for people to answer my question. It's just me going through the algebra. And this is the simplest possible non-trivial case. So it only gets more complicated from here. Imagine you have a system of five equations, then it takes even longer. And that's where uh, it's good to have a better way to do this, or at least, you know, less painful, less tedious way to do something like this. So, so this is where it's uh, good to know about computer algebra system, if you didn't know already. So a computer algebra system, that's a general term. Um, I, sorry, I guess it, as I, my instinct is to ask a, a question, who knows about computer algebra system and then wait, but I don't think I should do that. Um, do, do feel free to tell me in the chat if you know already what computer algebra systems are. Let me just do a quick intro in terms of uh, what you have seen. You have kind of seen a version of computer algebra system. You have seen me use Ulfram Alpha. Ulfram Alpha, can be thought of as a computer algebra system. Let me see if you can do this. Um, so, yeah, you can probably do you know this. Obviously, <laughs> it's one of the suggested things. So it can solve um, a quadratic equation. Okay, great. Let me see if you can do a system of equations. A um, um, a plus b is equal to zero. A plus 2b is equal to 2 uh, for, I don't know the syntax for all from alpha. 
Um, this is why I'm saying it's a kind of a computer algebra system because it is a natural language processing, uh, which means um, when you just kind of guess at the syntax, it uh, has some engine that tries to interpret what that means. And I think it's done that correctly. And um, it's given me an answer. Ooh, I wonder if that means it can do this. I didn't try this before this session. Let me, um, let me see if we can do this. Um, what I'm going to do is, okay. Um, I'm going to get that equation there and see if uh, Wolfram Alpha can do it. So if I1 is equal to I2 plus I3, uh, V1 minus, I3 times R3 plus I2 times R2 minus V2. By the way, I'm deliberately not doing the subscripts because uh, they tend to get messy. So uh, my naming convention usually is to you can, uh, turn subscripts into number following the letter, like a programming uh, variable. Uh, I1 times R1. That looks like two, but I'm pretty sure that's one um, equal to zero for I1, I2, I3. Let me see if it does that. Mm. <laughs> it might, it might not. Uh, especially if it doesn't, then that'll give me <laughs> great segue into, yeah. So, um, so, you know, there is a limitation to natural language processing in that uh, I'm trying to describe a rather complicated system here. Uh, one is that um, this is a purely algebraic description. You know, this would have been definitely easier if these were numbers, like a five for V1. So let me do five, where's my other V1s? Oh, other V1s, okay, five for V1. And let me do three for R3, two for R2, and 10 for V2. And just making up numbers, I'm just trying to be consistent. Um, one. So this uh, uh, Wolfram Alpha may be able to understand or not. <laughs> um, yeah, it still couldn't. So this is the reason um, you, at some point, you need access to a proper computer algebra system because Wolfram Alpha is a kind of a weird hybrid between a computer algebra system and a search engine. Um, it, it's very useful for doing certain things like uh, integrating, I don't know, sine of x squared from x equals zero to x equals one, uh, which, um, um, you know, for which there's no, <laughs> no uh, um, analytical answer. So it has to do it numerically or do it in terms of special functions. Um, it's useful for looking up integrals and it can do some simple versions of uh, system of equations. But as you get into more complicated system, you need, you need a proper computer algebra system. But Wolfram Alpha is a, a demonstration of why it might be useful to have uh, access to a computer algebra system because um, it, 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 it'll, it can help you do either difficult work or help you verify your answer after having done the difficult work. 